guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomist coming at you with another video review, and this time I'm bringing you <sighs> Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Legend Class Walmart Exclusive Devastator. Now, ever since Revenge of the Fallen has come out, people have asked me, Hey Paul, are you going to review Devastator? Review Devastator, get Devastator, I want to see you review Devastator, go ahead, do review Devastator, blah, blah, blah. And my answer has always been at $100 for the Supreme Class Devastator. I'm not buying it. Uh, won't buy it. I have no interest in it. I'm adjusting my lights because that glare is bugging me. Uh, I, I have no interest in a $100 Supreme Class Devastator. I, I think it's crap. Now, this one is a legend figure, which comes with seven individual robots as opposed to the six of the Supreme Devastator. As you can see here, combine all seven robots to form Constructicon Devastator. Dun, 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 dun. And it's got an advanced conversion feature of three, which I find kind of interesting. Here's all the different toys, though, that you can see. You have Overload, which is a new one. That's a new guy. Scavenger, Scrapper, Mixmaster, Hightower, Rampage, and Long Haul. Um, Looks nice in this mode. I, I can't complain too terribly much. It looks, it actually doesn't look too terribly bad. Nice packaging. You got the uh, clear Decepticon logo there on the very top of it. The packaging actually kind of reminds me of some of the, um, like, say, the Masterpiece, Starscream, or Skywarp uh, figures, especially with that little logo there. Overall, though, fairly nice packaging. Nice art on the side here, and it says Legends Class. Um, manufacturers, representatives in the United Kingdom. Okay. Transformers Collect Club. Proof of purchase, I bought it. That doesn't really mean anything that I, I, I bought it, I guess. Because I could steal it, and then I would have it. I, I don't know. Uh, overall, though, I mean, I can't see really anything too spectacular about it, but it is a devastator. So uh, let's get the guy open and see how cool he actually is. Okay guys, so here we have the Legend Devastator figures out of the packaging in their individual vehicle modes. Now, one thing one thing that I didn't particularly like about this, this whole setup was that they have robot modes. And a lot of people are like, well, you can't have Devastator without having robot modes and vehicle modes and limb modes. In the Revenge of the Fallen movie, however, Devastator was formed... By just vehicles. Now, yeah, we did see a Mixmaster and we did see uh, a Demolisher or Scavenger or whatever, or Scrapper, whatever that guy's name is. Um, we did see Long Haul roaming around. And, you know, honestly, you know, it, it's, it's confused a lot of people and they don't know what to say and they don't know, well, were they clones or what were they? Who cares? Um, the thing of it is, though, I really kind of actually like the way that they did this. It's it's a nice little touch. Now, first off, we're going to start with Scrapper. Now, Scrapper is some kind of a, a bulldozer push thingy. Uh, it's not too bad. It's it's kind of, you know, simple, but it's a legend class figure. So I can really kind of get into this, and it doesn't bother me too terribly much about the lack of detail, although there is some good amount of molded detail into it. So to transform him, he's actually... All these are fairly simple, so... You just want to separate these bits right here. Just kind of get those out of the way. Rotate them down. Separate these bits. Oh, and his arm popped off. So that's not good. Uh, let's see. We're going to rotate those back. And let me rotate that back. And I'll, You know, they're all on ball joints. So it's just a matter of just popping it back in. So there we go. Take this section. Rotate this back. That reveals his head. Kind of fold these down rotate these bits and you're going to create his feet now this is actually probably my favorite looking figure of him uh, you can't get really in depth with the detail nice you know kind of reddish eyes now scrapper wasn't in the movie as far as i could really see well no yeah he he formed an arm i'm, I'm retarded pay no attention to me so fairly nice figure on this in terms of articulation the arms will rotate around they are they're on a ball joint so you can kind of get some motion Back and forth with the legs, nothing at the knee, and then a little bit of, you know, positioning with the, the feet. So, fairly nice figure there. I'm going to move the rest of these guys up. Set him off to the back. Next, we're going to have Overload, and he's some kind of a, a flatbed. Uh, it actually almost looks like it's kind of like, a you know, you would have this guy scooping things and then dumping it in there. So, 
yes, this is solid, but I think it might actually be used to kind of transport dirt or something. Um, to transform him, again, you just kind of separate these little legs, get them out of the way. Come around here and separate this bit, fold this section down. His legs are really kind of wimpy. Kind of fold this out like so, fold these all the way out, and these actually separate, keep his legs down, and you have created his arms. Um, he's a stubby little guy. He's got, uh, you know, little man syndrome, big time. I mean, that's a wee man. It's a wee man, look at me, I'm a wee man. Um, legs don't do anything other than go in and out. They don't rotate forward or backwards. Uh, you got these arms on a ball joint, so you can kind of do this up here at the shoulder, and then his arms swivel outward, and that's about it for overload. Fairly nice. Um, like I said, he's a wee one, so you kind of lose points for that, but set him off to the back. Next, we're going to come to long haul, and I'm not doing this in, in any particular order, but first, uh, he is a dump truck type of a thing, and it says Hasbro on here. C2 once, and I don't know what that means, but uh, fairly nice representation, nice Decepticon logo there. Again, um, decent amount of molded detail, not too many paint apps, but it's okay. Now, to transform him, you want to separate, there we go, separate his legs, just fold those down, take this section, rotate this backward, and that's really stiff. Go ahead, separate the legs, like so, and then these just fold outward. Take his little feetums and fold those little bits down. And here we have Long Haul in his robot mode. Um, again, this one really suffers in terms of articulation. His arms just go in and out as part of the transformation. They don't rotate or anything. They do swivel outward like so. But, uh, I mean, what are you going to do with that? I mean, that's not too much. Um, back and forth at the leg, kind of in a little pivot on his feet. And, uh, I mean, his face really is a nice representation of uh, Long Haul's. So that's not too bad. I didn't show Overlord's face, but who cares about him? He's he's a nobody. Send him there in the back. Next, we're going to come to Hightower. And this was a guy that, again, we didn't really see much of in the movie. I mean, he didn't have a uh, an, another part. He had a part in the movie. He had a part in the movie. And he had a part in the movie in terms of individual robot modes and such. Uh, now, this guy actually is kind of interesting. Uh, I really kind of like the way he looks. Now, to transform him, I mean, he's kind of like a... A hook guy. Uh, again, not too much detail going on. Decepticon logo. Fairly nice. This guy, I mean, he's fun to kind of transform. You're going to go like that, and you're going to pull this out. You're going to come around down here. You're going to lift this section upward. And this all kind of, sort of, well, this loosens, and this comes out. And then you fold this section back in on itself. Fold that all the way down. Rotate these out. And they're they're kind of tricky because you got to fold these down and then you got to slot them into a groove right in here. It's simple, but it, it took me a second to actually figure out how to do it. Um, and here we have Hightower in his uh, robot mode. And I actually really like this. It's it's a kind of like a um, an ant or not an ant, but like a bug or something like that. But really nice looking. I do like the way it looks. It's interesting. Very unique. I set him off to the side. Next, we're going to come to Mixmaster. And uh, again, nice representation of his cement truck mode. Decepticon logo here and here. Not too much else going on. He also has a big giant head for Devastator right underneath. That Oh my god, you can see. Uh, separate this, separate this, separate this. Just going to wiggle this out. Rotate this around. There's his, oh, there's his head. Kind of bring these together, and these top parts will peg together. Kind of position this back all the way, because that's going to help him stand-ish. And again, he's got the goofy look that the uh, the Voyager version have, with the big goofy arms. Really kind of dumpy, not too uh, specific on his face or anything. Nothing, nothing really going on with this guy, so he just kind of chills articulation-wise. Um, he just bends here, and he, he has no articulation, he just rolls around. Um, you got this joint, you got the legs, that's about it. You kind of have to use the back of them to kind of balance them. Just a little bit, but it, you know, it's, it's a legend, not too bad. Set that off to the back. 
Now here we come to Scavenger, which, oh my gosh, this thing has had controversy. Is it Scavenger or is it Demolisher or who is it? Oh my god, I don't know. Uh, I, you know, but it's it's not too bad. You can see the wheels up in here. He, uh, not too much else going on. You get the uh, little thing moving up and down, and that's all you have that with. So uh, not too bad, but you know, transform him. Just kind of separate everything, separate everything, rotate these wheels outward. There's his face. It's not in his butt like the Voyager. Just rotate these around. Spin that all the way around. Now, these little bits right here, his wheels, they fold back. And hopefully you're going to be able to see this. Let me kind of try and zoom in here. Inside there, you have to take these wheels and slide these inward to be able to fit in there. And then slide this one. Hopefully you can see that, that little slot right back there. Again, hopefully you could see that fairly well, but there's his his face. Like I said, it's not in his butt this time. Um, articulation again, you you know, it swivels out here, it bends here, but it's pretty much the same as the Voyager. It's not spectacular. And last but not least, Rampage. Yellow, again, um, so people may complain about that. You just, oh well, nothing else going on. Um, Decepticon logo, he's got wheels, sure. Okay, so you rotate these little guys. Out, and then spin them upward. Then you want to fold this little guy down, and then separate all this. Rotate this out. Oh, here's his here's his head. You gotta take his head here and fold this little bit out for his face. Fold that up, and then you just kind of position this. And it's really not that spectacular, but here is him and his. His, I don't even know what you want to call it, mode, pile driver, sure. His face is really gumpy. Nothing special, just, that's really retarded. But here you have all the individual robot modes, and he, he doesn't like standing much. Here you have all the individual robot modes for Devastator. A fairly nice looking, again, as I said, I mean, they're not really going to spend much time in this mode. I'm going to have him Devastator mode for the most part. So that's that's all I can really think of for this. Um, now, now we're going to try and transform him into uh, the Devastator mode. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Long Haul and knock down everybody else in the process. Set, set that back. All right, now for Long Haul, all you need to do Kind of bring the feet back. Did I bring his feet? Yeah, bring his feet straight back up and tab the legs together. Fold this back like so. And you're going to just accordion this all the way out. Kind of getting this. You want to angle this so it's down like so. And then you have it like that. Fairly simple. There's a little connector bit for him. So we'll just set that right there. Next, we're going to come to Rampage. And now just fold his little head down. Kind of fold all this back. I mean, this is actually, it's actually fairly simple. You're just going to rotate this around. Kind of separate this. Maybe. Come on. Separate that little bit down. And you're going to just line up his connector bit. Fold these little bits down as well. Fold that in together. Kind of keep that like so. Here you have his other leg, and again, there's the little connector bit right up there. Not too bad. Set that off, and that's going to be the right and left leg. So we're just going to keep that right there. We're going to set him there. Next, what we're going to do is overload. We're going to grab this little guy. Now we're going to pull his legs together, and now fill this back up. Oh, pop his arm off, why don't you? Actually, you don't want to put those together. I'm sorry. His legs so we're gonna keep these down keep that peg together like so and keep these plugged out and this is going to be his torso bit so you can go ahead well part of his torso so you can go ahead and plug these in right now diffy all right and there uh, there you have part of devastators legs well his torso bit Set that right there. Next bit we're gonna come to is scavenger or whatever you wanna call him. You need to fold these leg bits or these wheel bits all the way to their furthest outward position. Kind of plug them together. Rotate these wheels around. 
you know, these kind of sort of kind of sort of pegged together. And you can see his connector bits. Let me just kind of fold this all. Do whatever you want with this. Fold these up. Fold those out. So now you have it straight on like this. These, you know, you're gonna want to fold these in eventually, but go ahead and keep them up because it's a little bit easier to connect. So you have this little these little slots right here that slot on the inside of these. So it's a little little tricky. It's a little tricky. Uh, most times I'll just pull it apart. There we go. Separate that. Just kind of spread the legs out, and there we go. Kind of have them like this. Then these wheels will kind of clip together on the back here. Kind of bring this up, and you can just set that right there if you want to. And now you're getting them. There. Yeah. See. Keep the arms out. Kind of position these now so that you can do whatever you want with them. We'll worry about this little fiddly part part in a minute. Again, you want to try and keep the legs positioned. All right. And now we're we're on our way. Come around here to Hightower, and you're pretty much going to just transform him back into his vehicle mode. Um, so just kind of rotate this out, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Maybe, oh, that gets folded out. My bad. So now we're rotating these all the way out. Fold this up, tuck that away. Goes inside there. Fold this out. Kind of, now we can keep these little bits out because these are his hands. Fold these little bits down. And those will kind of sort of tab right in on the side up here. There we go. And his connector bit for his hand is right here. That's going to go on this side. There we go. And now you're getting more and more of them. Going to bring him out. We'll do him last. Scrapper. Basically fold this guy into his car or his vehicle mode. So fold this, fold this. Pull this in, get that out of the way. You can kind of plug those together, bring this up, kind of keep it separated so that you can kind of recreate his, uh, his the way his hands look. And there's that connector and that will plug in right here. Now you can kind of position this however you want to. Pull that back. Set him to the back. And here we have the Piesto de Resistance Mix Master. Devastator's head's right there. So. You just kind of fold these little bits back, back up, and rotate this bit back. Fold these legs, get these legs, they're going to be all the way in the back section. Kind of tab this together, kind of spread this out. Now you have his head, just like so. Now there are two little connector bits here and here, which will tab right in front of Scavenger's head, right there. So you just plug those in. Pull these little guys back and you can kind of position them. Do whatever you want with these. Rotate these little bits. I mean, it's it's a fairly decent figure. So here we have Devastator. Um, he, he, he's not horrible. Um, in terms of articulation, it's fairly limited. His arms will move um, in and out here kind of at the shoulder. They also rotate, but they can also kind of... Uh, I guess bend at an elbow here, uh, sort of. His legs don't really do much. They kind of rotate outward. Um, he kind of moves up and down at the waist. Um, not, not, I mean, it's not a very poseable figure. Now, you can rotate this where he looks like he's more hunched over. It, I mean, it's, it's not bad looking. I mean, uh, you get his head, which is kind of on this weird thing that uh, you really can't do much with and it's really kind of separate from the rest of the body and that kind of started separating um overall though i mean it's a nice looking figure it's not too terribly bad it's exclusive only to walmart and that being that it's actually like 32 dollars, so it's not too expensive seeing how you're getting seven figures it's not a bad figure now in terms of a size comparison though since i seem to do this here he is next to voyager Optimus Prime so you can see that he is a small figure, but Legend size. I mean he, he, he fits fairly well with this with the scale. He's not bad looking uh, I mean, I'll, I'll get I'll give him I'll give him props 
he, he's not too terribly bad. It's a nice alternative to the crap Supreme figure. Now, there is a, a, a knockoff version. That's an oversized version of him. I, I've seen it, and I've actually contemplated getting it. Uh... I haven't decided yet. R really haven't decided yet if I'm going to get it. it. It's it's a bigger size version of this, and it it apparently it, I've seen a couple reviews on it, and it's really not too bad looking. So I mean that's about it, guys. Um, Legend Devastator. I, I would I'd pick him up. I mean he's kind of fun, and uh, you know he's a nice alternative. And you get a really creepy face. I mean, that's like neon. That's fairly cool. So, I, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed I mean, his head really doesn't do much either. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at a Devastator figure that I've finally reviewed. So, <laughs> until next time, guys, this has been Optobotomous. I'll talk to you later.